Hey art friends, today we're drawing a cartoon tulip. I hope you're gonna follow along, it's gonna be a lot of fun. You need your drawing supplies. I'm using a marker and some marker paper to draw on, but you can use whatever you have to draw and color with. All right, let's get started. First, let's draw the face for our cartoon tulip. We're gonna draw the mouth. I'm gonna draw it right here in the middle of the paper, but kind of towards the top so that we have room for the stem down here. I'm gonna draw a smile and then can also draw the mouth open and you can change your funny face or your cartoon face any way you want. You can also pause the video and take extra time to draw different things. I'm gonna draw the tongue inside and maybe also teeth at the top. And then we're gonna color in the back of the mouth. There we go. Now let's draw the eyes. I'm gonna draw a big circle for the left eye and the same size circle over here for the right eye. Then we can make the eyes look extra friendly and shiny by adding a smaller circle or oval in the top left of each eye. Then let's color in the big circle, but leave that little circle white. That part we sped up, so remember to pause the video if you need extra time. And also because I'm the only one in the studio, I'm not trying with one of my kids, the lesson might go a little faster than usual. So if you need that extra time, just pause the video. Okay, now let's draw the tulip shape or the flower. We're gonna draw the letter U, but we're gonna draw a big one. We're gonna start way up here, maybe right above the eye, and we're gonna come down like this, come right next to the eye, and then also the chin, and then we're gonna to try to keep the same space right here and continue to draw the right side to match. There we go. Now we can draw the petals. First, let's draw a line that curves down and will stop right above the eye. Then we can draw another curve on this side to match, curving into the center and stop. Then we can draw the middle of our tulip by drawing an upside down letter V. Next, we can draw the stem and also the leaves. Let's first draw the leaves. Right in the middle of our flower, we're gonna draw an imaginary line coming straight down and we'll add a guide point in the middle. Then we're gonna draw two curves. We'll draw one curve that comes up like this and stops there. And then we can draw another curve that kind of matches on the other side. Then we're gonna start at the end and we can draw an S curve and connect down here at that center guide point. And then let's do the same thing. We'll curve one way, then we can curve out the other way and connect into that center point. Then let's draw the stem coming down and connecting to the leaves. And we did it, we finished drawing our cartoon tulip. Now we're not completely done, we still need to color it. This part will speed up again, so remember to pause the video and take that extra time to color in your drawings. You could even take that time to add other flowers. You could repeat the same step to draw another tulip on the right and also on the left side, or even draw the background. All right, let's speed things up. I'm using our Art for Kids Hub alcohol-based markers, and if you have the same set and want to use the same colors, I'm using 59 green, it's kind of a lighter green, for the leaves. And the first thing I'm doing is coloring in the leaf solid, and even adding an extra layer so that it's nice and juicy on the leaf. And then I'm going back in with a darker green, 46, and adding the center of the leaf right down the middle, and then adding a little shadow on the outside. And because I layered it a couple times with the lighter green, when you go back in with the darker green, it's still wet and it makes the lines a little softer. I also did that with the pink. I used two different pinks. 17 is the first lighter pink I used and then a darker pink 341 on top of that. Then I'm using five for the tongue and also a white colored pencil to add bigger highlights in the eyes. And you can even add an extra highlight, a smaller one right next to it. Next, after that, I'm gonna use a blue colored pencil to add a reflection at the bottom of each eye. You can also add extra highlights, maybe on the petals and also on the leaf. The last thing I'll do is 
add a thicker line around the outside of the entire drawing. I really like how this extra thick line around the drawing makes it look like it's gonna pop right off the page. It also kind of looks like a sticker. You could also cut this drawing out and tape it to your window or a wall and use it as a spring decoration. I hope you had a lot of fun following along with me and drawing your own cartoon tulip. I'm sure your drawings turn out really cool. And we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Hey, parents and teachers, it's Rob from Art for Kids Hub. We've put together our very first book filled with drawing lessons for you and your family. From cute pets to mythical creatures, it's got everything to spark your creativity. And the coolest part, you can pre-order today. I also want to give a huge shout out to our amazing publisher, DK Books. Thank you, DK Books, for making this dream a reality. We can't wait to see the amazing art you'll create with the help of our book. So click the link in the description below and pre-order your copy today. Your support means the world to us. Remember, the most important thing is to have fun and practice. We'll see you in the next drawing lesson. See you later, art friends.